Hi, my name is Anais Castro. I'm the director and curator here at Arsenal Contemporary New York. I'm delighted today to be with uh, Geneviève Cadieu um, in the context of her solo exhibition at the gallery, Surrender, that just opened on uh, March 12th. Um, this is an exhibition that we've been working on for many months, uh, and it all started with a conversation around the piece L'Esprit de la Paire, mm -hmm. which is the piece behind me. Um, and it was a piece that I felt was tremendously important to the show, tremendously important to show here in New York, in a city where um, I have a long history with oysters. Uh, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the piece. The idea uh, came after reading John Steinbeck's novella called The Pearl. At the same time, um, I, I had done The Anemone, which is also a piece of an anemone sea and with some coral. So it was also, um, it already existed you know, within my practice. Also, the oyster can produce pearl. Mm -hmm which is also similar to the artists over time that can uh, you know, produce work. And also it's feminine, so you can think of you know, women you know, you know, giving life to, to children. And my mother is also, the image of my mother is also part of the exhibition. So it made sense that those two works you know, ended up in this uh, main room of the exhibition. Yeah, of course, and I think it, the exhibition was really built around the connection between uh, L'Esprit de la Perle and the work Ma Mère. And I think that one of the things that we talked about was also the sort of formal link that is created in the um, in the meeting of those two pieces across and their the surfaces room, too. And in their surfaces, and the eye of the mother that the time of the photograph is partially closed but partially open, open, kind of takes that same shape. And there is this, um, I think, beautiful moment of vulnerability that is present in the work of the oyster being chucked and in the same moment of vulnerability and where the eyes are closed and open at the same time. time. And which also allude to the, the, you know, how someone sees the world or understands the world but through uh, you know their uh, their psyche and it's their psyche and their own experience of life. Obviously, it's a mature woman. Also, it's not a young woman. So there, there is a you know her story that is also present that is outside, of course, of the the piece. Yeah, and I think that also again this connection between sort of the body and then also something that is vulnerable that is kept inside. Um, and, and revealed in the other work. Exactly. So, so also most of the work that, well, all the works that were cho cho chosen uh, for the exhibition have, uh, you know, formal elements mm -hmm. s somehow, yeah. but they're all different, different um, surfaces like the glass, mm -hmm. the surface of the photograph, the surface of the palladium that is applied onto the photograph, and also the, the palladium that reflects the light, the water also, where you can link to the oyster, obviously, to the moon that, yeah. uh, it, you know, so all, all the, you know, the, the works we chose, you know, relate to each other somehow. And I feel like the beauty of this exhibition is really its ability for someone to come in and there are so many layers of interpretation yes. and the poetry of the work uh, makes it that I think there are very different lines of uh, well, you, you, interpretation. It, I think it's, it, there's a lot of space for the viewer to construct his own narrative. You know, personal narrative, you know, uh, it's, uh, art, is, uh, art history negative, um, narrative, or I think the work, you know, are uh, welcoming enough and the title suggests that you surrender also to the exhibition somehow.